All right, guys, welcome back to the Brassics Academy. All right, so last week someone asked me a question. He said, Does Kumu only edit or retouch portraits? Is he only good for beauty retouching? Well, it is not. It is also good at normal studio pictures, especially the ones you have your background not enough or even rough. Or you probably want to change the color. Kumu does all of that. Although a little tricky in approach, but trust me, if you learn it, it's very simple. So in this video, we are going to be exploring that option. We are going to be using Kumu to retouch a full image, you know, fix the background, clean it up, uh, stretch it back, and as well, change the color if need be. So the first thing I want to do on this picture is you know, try to correct the lighting. So I'm going to brighten it up a little. Oh, uh, okay. I think I'm on my background. I'll go to global. So I'm going to brighten it up a little. Very good. Then push up the shadows and reboot the highlights. Add some contrast to it. And we are good to go. So I think the shadows are slightly still too dark. Okay, so we can work with this. Now, we move straight to retouching proper. If you look at the image, you'll notice that she lost a lot of details. We don't have a lot of details on the picture. So I'm going to go into my face, this focus repair, and increase it to, you know, enhance the details on her face. Then I'll move straight to acne on the face, acne on the body, body blemishes, reduce the max, all those hot spots on it then forehead wrinkle lift the tight set pull a little wrinkles around eye so these are those basic fixings you might want to do before you go into your property or touch and proper you might want to remove the cheek line you might want to limit there so let's just reduce it in little she doesn't have a double chin increase her increase the accessory from breast in case we have stuffs pushing out from here then, of course, the stretch mark. All right, so we are done with blemish remover. Let's get to retouch on proper. The next thing is our skin area. So I'm going to do my frequency separation on the face. Beautiful. Then I'm going to reduce the... Uh, I'm going to turn up the skin refinement in fret to take care of some little, little blemishes over there. Then, of course, with my neutral gray leveling and add some contour to it to bring back the dimensions. Then I'm going to increase the frequency separation for the body. And as well, increase my AI, the touch for face. And add some textures to the face. And this is the result we'll have with that. Now the next thing we need to do is to correct the skin tone. If you look at the image, you'll notice that her skin tones are not matching. They're not uniform, so I'll increase the skin tone on multiple areas, increase the skin tone on the body and that of the face, very important. Then after I'm, I've done that, I'll go to my neutral for my skin tone and increase the warmness, reduce the intensity. So she's already set. All we needed to do was just a little bit of the skin tone and a lot of warm temperature so that we'll get that beautiful warm skin tone. So once that is done, we'll go over to make corrections to the hair. So we'll come to the hair area, increase the stray hair, and of course soften it out. Then I've noticed that the hair might need to get a little bit darker, so we'll just add it from here and reduce the intensity of that. So that we'll get, you know, something slightly darker. And of course, okay, we'll increase the softness. Now the next thing to do is to correct the makeup make a little corrections to the makeup so we'll go all the way down to the makeup slider over here then we increase our shadows to bring back our dot and body effect then enhance lip makeup enhance blush enhance eye makeup and enhance the eyebrow so i feel i need to push up the highlight a bit but not enough to you know bring back all the hot spots we remove just slightly then the contour of the image her nose needs to, you know, stand out a little bit more. 
So let's do for the one that will allow us to get that contour on the nose. Beautiful. So the eyes need a little correction. Or even the eyelash. Let's change her eyelashes. Eyelashes. Let's, let's change her eyelash because it's not, you know, very definite. And it's scattered. So I think this is going to be the right one can increase the intensity to make it very, very visible. And that is it is. Okay, so what else are we missing? Her face needs a little plumping. Just push a little light into her face area, especially the cheek area. So we'll open the plums. We'll look for the areas we need to push the light into. Here we we'll a good place. We place the intensity. All right. Good. Where else do we need lights? Uh behind forehead let's see that i don't want that one I don't want that one so we'll just take it back yeah i think that will do for now the before the after the before the after now let's get straight to making some corrections to the body so we'll drag it all the way down to body and we'll try making a little adjustment to her. So I need her hips to be a little bit more pushed out. So I'm going to go to the waist, snatch it a little, then slim her down just a little. Then the butts, of course, try to slim it down. Yes, beautiful. I don't need to touch her head size. Uh, her breast needs to come out a little bit more. To be balanced her belly a little bit sucked in look at that shit my god okay so we are done let's move to the background correction so i'll go over to the background slider here then i'll make sure that i leave the recommended then i'll i'll turn on my removing perfection so that it fills up these areas that needs to be sealed up Beautiful, beautiful. Then I'm going to increase my clean background to smoothing it out because my background is looking really rough. That's right. So at this point, you can decide to stop, but there, are, there is something I want to show you. I want to show you how to correct it, and that is changing the background color. For now, Kumu have a little limitation around retaining shadows. Because you're going to notice if I choose a gray background, maybe something like this. We are going to have the background plainly cut out, but our shadows is also gone. And we don't have an option that, you know, tells us, gives us uh, the flexibility of reducing opacity, restoring our shadows and all of that. So if you want to do that as a, as a creative, what can you do? And that is where the trick I want to show you comes in. All right, so as a creative, you need to think outside the box. You need to think other ways you can achieve the same thing. So there is something in the Amaskin called global and local. And even in the local, we'll have the person, we'll have the background. I'll have the custom where you have to, you know, create it by yourself. But we'll just pick background. Now, remember, we want to change the color. What is always affecting the color, the hue, the saturation, the temperature, and the tint, right? So if we go into our HSL, it's going to be hard for us to get exactly the color of this background because it's gray. So if we say blue, it's not going to do much. If we say aqua, it's not going to do much. If we say green, it's not going to do much. If we say yellow, it's not going to do much. We see the same thing with every other one, except uh, the reds and the orange. Okay, so. The red and orange give us a shift in color, which means if we want to maybe make adjustment to that, we can increase the two of them. You see, we are even having some areas not touched. So if we make a shift with the hues now, you will notice that we will still have something very, very bad. So the only way you can use these two that I found out obviously now is to just use it and convert it to a pure gray background like this. So if we no, just remove all the tiny, tiny color cast on it. 
if we go back to what we did, we had a clean gray background. But what if we want to change the color entirely? What we can do is to change the temperature. If you push the temperature upwards, uh, okay, so I'm going to turn off the reds and orange stuff. So if you push the temperature of this background, this area, we are going to get something very warm. And if you darken it down, it starts toning it towards an orange color. If you mix it up properly, you will get a proper orange color. You can probably saturate it up. And you will get a very clean orange. Now, if I go back to my retouching, you will see that I have a different color of background. So this does not just work for orange. You can even use it to create a blue background or even mix it up and get something darker or even something more cooler. Let's see how that handles it down there. Okay, so we'll get a very bluish background. Let's see. Our saturation is it still high. Yeah, it's definitely. No wonder. Okay, so we can decide to push it towards this way and get a very clean color. Reduce the highlight, reduce the shadow on the background, even bring down the exposure a little bit. Now we have something towards the blue with our shadow still very much intact. So this is how you can, you know, use this to your own advantage to push the color to anything you want. You can even do a very dark gray, right? To push the color to anything you want. You can even go towards a very beautiful purple color and it will still give you your shadow. So this is a trick you can try out on your own image and see exactly how it affects your image and how it will allow you to produce a very clean result on your studio background in Kumu still retaining your shadows because the idea is to make sure that our shadows are still there if you lose your shadows you have lost the beauty of the dimensions of your background so we'll just keep it somewhere around here and get a very clean color and we are good to go maybe we should increase the vibrance and the saturation a little bit too so let me see the hsl is going to see it as a blue now it is obviously doing that so you see because we turned down the saturation of our blue it was even affecting the way the colors appear so now we have a very clean blue background but that is slightly too much here yeah, this works so look at it with our shadows intact we can even now use this idea to push towards a purple color or even a green color let's do purple so where's our purple in this area so we can even increase the saturation now well, saturation of the blue and we still have a very beautiful color but i think it's looking too weird so we'll just pull it down pull it down go reduce the intensity bring the saturation looking really really weird okay so this works so this is the overall before and the after the before and the after thank you so much for watching make sure you try this out on your own image using kumu and let's see the result you are able to find out if you are wondering how you'll be able to assess this software it's an ai software by the way that allows you to retouch your images in very few minutes so if you are wondering exactly how to do that all you need to do is to go to the description of the video you will see the link pasted there where you can download it and after downloading and installing you, you want to purchase some credits use our promo code that is also in the description of the video and you are going to be getting 30 extra credits each time that you purchase Kumu credit and trust me it is extremely affordable extremely very 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 affordable thank you so much for watching make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and after subscribing turn on your notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video until then see you on the next one. Bye for now.